G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to the not so cold waters of the South China Sea and welcome back aboard the Victor 3 for the Russian South China Sea campaign. So, we received orders to return to Okinawa to get a resupply. Yes, actual orders to go back for a resupply this time. So obviously a big mission coming up next. We're on our way back there at the moment. We just got hit by an anti-submarine warfare patrol. So we have surface boats currently hunting us so we needed a little a few a little bit of identification here and actually work out exactly what we've got all right that's a zhang con sonar sierra Zheng 2 Hui. is classified as escort yeah that's a looter that's two Con down. sonar Sierra one is classified as escort. Now we're at periscope depth at the moment, so I can pop my head above water to confirm some of these if I want to. But I'm going to try and avoid it because we were picked up trying to transit at ten knots. Con sonar Sierra three is classified right, as cargo. Urgent. So why that isn't um like it, it isn't horrible. Yeah, why 10 knots isn't horrible, it's still enough that, you know, they, they could be more aware of us than I would generally like on my attacks, so. They are pinging actively, although at the moment, I should, should probably double check that, Sheng Wei. Negative 30, negative 14, they can't get us on active at the moment. What speed are they at? Oh, he's currently at 23 knots, so he's just banging away, but he's not actually listening. He's just making noise. So I don't need to be too concerned at this point. The uh, the noise of his own screw will be uh, be messing up his ability to uh, to be able to hear us. This one's Yeah, small cargo ship. Alright, so just a small Sierra patrol as far as I can is tell. classified as merchant. Just the looter and the Zhang Wei, both coming in on our direction. Now, what have we got here in terms of options? A moderate duct, weak layer at 163 feet, and surface noises at 95 decibels. So it's not as loud as I would like, but I've most certainly seen worse. Come left I'd like two, a little bit more two, noise one, in the water eight, at the moment, um, I... just because it gives these guys a hard day. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. The Zhang Wei is going running along here at the moment, and it's banging away on its active sonar, but it's doing 26 knots, so it can't actually hear any of its own returns. It's being too noisy. But the looter over here, it's only doing 9 knots. It's banging away, and it's listening. That's what's going on here. But neither one of them are in a position to be able to really pick me up regardless even with their speeds taken into account so although the Zhang is getting close on active I just want to kind of confirm these guys Put nose Helm back right on. Two, three, zero, nine. Helm I. Change depth. Two hundred. Make depth two zero zero feet. Dive I. That jumped really far when we gave him the broadside. We're giving him a really big active return. Although, it, if it did pick us up, then, I, I th yeah, I suspect he's getting a return on us now. They know we're over here. I probably shouldn't have gone broadside. I was trying to get a look and see whether or not I could actually pick up the Zhang before I went for the thermal layer. But yeah, I think I might have just screwed that up. So estimated range on the looter. Looter is up to 20 and it's 9 kiloyards. Once I'm below the thermal layer, I'm going to pop off two torpedoes. Send one down here to the looter. 
one will go north for the Zhang, and I'm just going to be very, 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 very quiet and hope. Make these both surface runners. Hope they don't pick up on the fact that I'm, or get any more information on the fact that I'm here at the moment. Alright, so 200 feet and holding. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. One is out. No counter fires. I don't think they heard the transit. Shoot, two, Second two. torpedo out. Aye, sir. Let it get clear. Turn off south, cool. Con, dive at two, zero, zero, um, eight, dive I'm going to be very, very, very quiet for a little bit. So, anyways, yes, uh, South China Sea, nuclear submarines. It has been an interesting week for discussions about that, hasn't it? Or an interesting couple of days at the very least. Now, as most of you know, I do not talk politics on Con, the channel hell, at all, because course. this day and age, talking modern politics at least, is a, uh, it's a, it's a very good way to find yourself in all sorts of uh, bullshit problems that I just don't have the time or the patience or the tolerance for. Um, long story short, because I know it's going to pop up in the comment section, uh, yeah, I didn't think the, the French deal submarine wise was a particularly good one I mean the whole concept of buying a apparently the French boats were pretty good but the concept of buying a French nuclear submarine and then ripping the nuclear reactor out putting diesel engines in just it, it sounded stupid from the word go just buy the nuke and apparently we're getting the nukes now so I am for this I am for Australia actually updating itself with some good boats I'm kind of hoping that uh, the boats that we get will actually be a variation on the Virginia class I'm actually hoping that's kind of part of the deal that they're working on at the moment and it does seem likely that uh, the US wants a South China Sea based repair facility for their submarines so if we have the ability to run them and the ability to manufacture them, it also means we can fix them. So that seems likely. So that'll be Adelaide. I think they're wanting to do the build, the other construction of some of these there. Uh, although the delivery time seems to indicate that they are actually going to try and get the US to make some of them first. So we'll get the first ones possibly US built, while the rest will be manufactured, um, manufactured here in Australia once we've got the infrastructure set up for it. And they're going to be housed in Western Australia, which, again, makes sense for that end of the world. It's got a nice clean shot into all the places we need to be. So I'm for the idea. I'm actually for the idea of nuclear power in general in Australia. We've got two nuclear mines that are opened up with a third world's third largest supplier of uranium. And the only reactor we have inside of the country is used for experimentation and for creating medical isotopes for you know, things like x-ray machines and that kind of stuff. We shouldn't be burning coal here. We should have a country that is nuclear reactors and massive renewable solar plants, like the ones they're building in South Africa, those huge monstrosities that are like a kilometre across. That uh, The solar thermal plants, I think is what they were, or what they are, rather, not what they were, um, like a kilometre-wide array of mirrors that all point to a water tower and the reflected heat heats up the water in the water tower which drives a turbine in the same way that a nuclear reactor heats up water to drive a turbine. They work exactly the same way, just, you know, different power source. Well, I suppose some of the power source is still nuclear. We're just going a different way about it. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pro-nuclear energy in Australia and I'm, I think it's cool that we're getting nuke boats. Um, I hope we don't get rid of all the diesels though. Diesels do have their place for coastal defence. I hope we keep the like the Collins class around, maybe give them a little bit of an update. Don't scrap them completely. But uh, yeah, I, I overall I think it's pretty good news. I'm pretty happy with the whole thing. China be mad though. Khan, fire control, weapon acquired. Can't, Khan, can't imagine control, why. Weapon acquired. No, don't target the cargo ship. All right, so Zheng Wei just gave away its position by firing, and number one has acquired target. Looks like the looter is already starting maneuvers. Oh, the Zheng Wei is shitting. He's just dropped two tops. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Three, one, two. 
It's funny because this is what what you're seeing right here is exactly the reason why uh, why 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 China doesn't really want Australia or really anybody to have nuclear boats in their region because. What what you see in this, as much as Cold Waters Con is a sonar, game, noisemaker bearing two five. It three. is actually a reasonable sonar, representation bearing three, of the power one, of a nuclear two. submarine, a nuclear uh, a nuclear powered submarine, mod, a modern attack submarine in general, to be honest, and what it's capable of doing against. Con fire control weapon acquired. Fleets. Con fire control weapon acquired. You know, the ability to engage multiple target ships simultaneously while remaining undetected. Essentially, the ability to sink an entire fleet or sink as many Con ships sonar, as it has to be without two, being five, stopped. Four. This is not a big throw off the actual capabilities of a crewed submarine, and they they be scary. Modern submarines are the scariest things in the ocean. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there because once you go any further into the discussion, it starts getting political, and I, I, I'm sonar, not in the mood for discussing bearing, politics on my three, channel. I don't zero, discuss politics nine, on my channel. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. But yes, because I know it's going to show up in the comment section. I'm fully aware of it. I know what's going on. I am monitoring it. And yes, overall, I think it's actually a good idea that we update our gear. To something that's uh, Con sonar, noise a little bit threatening and two, a more five, threatening and a little zero. bit better on the uh, a little bit better on the range. We've got a lot of ocean. We have a lot of ocean and a lot of coastline and a lot of water to cover Con down sonar, this end of the world. Noise maker bearing All right, three, three zero, zero five. Con fire control weapon acquired. acquired. Comes torp. It's going to countermeasure before that torp hits. I think. Con sonar noisemaker bearing two four five. It did. And the torpedo will now come back. Con sonar Ooh. lost contact. Sierra one last bearing two four All right. four contact breaking up. Okay, so Luda and Zhengwei sunk, they were the only two in the area. We've only got three USAT 80s remaining, so we really need to get ourselves to Okinawa for resupply. Um, so, yeah, moving on. ASW patrol taken down. Crap. Two, seven, four, designated Sierra two. Let's check Sierra one first and see what we have. That's a bio. Okay, so biologic Con and Sierra sonar. 1. Sierra 1 is classified as biologic. Sierra 2. When the whales are making more noise than the submarines. Cargo ship. God Con damn it. Sonar. Sierra right, so that's 2 a problem. is classified as merchant. Alright, so at this point we only have... We've only got three torpedoes. That's all we've got left. And I don't know what this submarine is, but it was moving with an ASW patrol. It could just be an old clapped out diesel, or it could be something with some more teeth. We're going back for resupply anyway. How are we doing for moss moss count? How many we got? We got one in storage and two in the tubes. All right, all right. So we're going to do something a little bit more interesting here. I'm going to set my depth. We're at 50 feet at the moment. Let's go to periscope depth quick quickly. Make depth three eight feet dive by. I just want to confirm that there's nothing else on the surface that could potentially mess this up. And if there is, clear it and confirm the large cargo ship as well. So Con, while we're up dive here, at three, eight feet, dive by. Raise the radar mast. Radar up. 
Alright, so cargo ship is closer than anticipated, and otherwise, nothing else in range. Alright, lower the radar, radar down. down. Got 150 Depth feet. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop to 150 feet, and then I am going to fire off a moss. And I'm going to fire the moss right across this cargo ship. I probably shouldn't do that. It's not a Chinese cargo ship. Small cheat there, just checking the flags using the surface view. But anyways, maybe not such a great idea. We shouldn't probably do that. All right, so I'm going to fire the moss anyway. I need to see whether or not I can get this target to fire on the moss. And not on me, preferably. Give up its location first without having to go active. And then I can counter fire on it once its torpedoes are in the water. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right, we're at 150. Shoot two, three. Aye, Mosses sir. away. All right. So for those of you who don't know what a moss is, and I know it's um it's popped up in the comment Time section a couple of times one, before, five, zero, feet, a moss dive, is a mobile submarine simulator. It's essentially a torpedo that you can fire. That sounds like Con a submarine running at contact. speed. Sierra one, last bearing two nine two. Contact faded. Now, th these things are designed as a means of uh, protecting a submarine from an attack. As you can fire off a moss, torpedoes hear it. Torpedoes identify it as a submarine. Torpedoes go after it, and they avoid going after your actual submarine that's maneuvering in a way that, you know, the moss pulls the torpedoes away. That's what they're designed for. And that's largely how you use them in cold waters. But what I'm going to do now is actually just fish with it. We're going to try and convince the AI that the moss is my submarine and get it to fire on the moss. Because in the process of doing so, it'll reveal itself. And then we can kill it. Con, sonar, new contact, bearing three, oh, hello. one, zero. That didn't take long. Zero, right. three. Let's get you to turn that way. So the good part about the moss is we can actually steer them. The vanilla mosses on the US side cannot be... Yeah, I don't think they Con can be... Sonar can regained them. contact on only Sierra the, uh, 1, one bearing 2, 9, 4. Yeah, don't care about Sierra 1. We're not planning on firing on a blue whale. We leave that to the Chinese. They're responsible for all of the whale killing in this, uh, in this campaign. I didn't do nothing. That is a Ming, from the looks of it. Here I was hoping for a bigger fish. Yes, that is looking Con like sonar, a Ming. Sierra three that will be my target. As submerged submarine. All right. So what depth is the Ming at? It's running at about four hundred feet. All right. So torpedo out. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. And I'm going to get the torpedo to follow the noisemaker. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Yep. Con sonar, launch transient from Look at Sierra that. 3. Alright. Come right to 3, 5, 9, Helm I. Con sonar new contact bearing two nine eight designated Sierra four. Con right, helm. So I'm going to be really cheeky course. now. I'm going to get the noisemaker to turn. Actually, no. Keep the noisemaker out of the way. It'll interfere with the torpedo. Our own noisemaker will interfere with our own torpedo. So, being cheeky is not going to be smart. Turning on the targets. These should be no threat. The Ming is currently reloading. She should have four tubes, I believe. Possibly a rear tube as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, so she should still have it. At the very least, I'm not sure about the rear tube. I'm not sure if they're modelled or if it's present in the Ming. But she uh, should have four control, in the nose. Acquired. So, at the very least... 
she should have one more torpedo she can fire yet, so she's still not completely unloaded. Uh, the noise maker noise, uh, north, noise just maker just bearing it. three the two moth six. roller. Nope, get back on target with the mink. Now I need details. Con fire control weapon acquired. Need details. Yep, torpedo is still on. And there it is. So Ming's an old boat. She's, uh... Although well, quiet enough, they're always a pain in the ass to detect, although that could be a combination of the difficulty level as well. Um, for those who are, again, for those who are unaware of how Cold Waters works, Cold Waters by default is designed to God, operate based around control, NATO submarines, which have really, really, really good, uh, good hydrophones and good sonar in general. Generally, uh, generally superior to Russian designs or Soviet designs. That's the way it works. Con, fire control, now, the way the difficulty acquired. levels work in this is easier medium make the Russian sonar worse and the American sonar better than normal. Realistic is about where it should be, and then there is one difficulty level beyond that called Elite. Now, Elite difficulty is where I normally play, where the Russian or the American sonar is nerfed Con sonar lost Ooh. contact. The Russian Sierra sonar three, is last increased bearing, to the point three, where it's three, sort of neutralized. Two, contact breaking up. That's fine. Now I'm playing the playable subs and more mod, which is an older mod now, one which adds Russian campaigns and makes the Russian submarines playable. But it doesn't change how the difficulty levels work. So if you play an elite difficulty as a Russian sub, you're in a Russian sub that has below what should be realistic sensor capability and everything you're facing has slightly above. So in the case of the way this is playing out at the moment, the Chinese submarines, which are roughly equivalent to Russian submarines in terms of their, uh, their sonar capabilities, can actually see more like US submarines can. So it's like playing against a US player as the Russian sub. That's the way it's working out. And it makes things like this thing difficult to detect. And I do that intentionally, like I'm aware of that's how it works, and I, I like the added challenge, so it's why I play it that way. But anyway, Ming down. So, that's three torpedoes in the water, all we have to do now is just uh, run a little bit of time acceleration to make sure those torpedoes go away. It's only likely the one boat here. Once the torpedoes are fared out, we can live, exit the area, and hopefully we will have an uninterrupted run all the way through to Okinawa, because at this point we have two torpedoes left, and I don't cherish the idea of trying to take out the enemy by lobbing the two rocket launched torpedoes that I've got on top of them because that's all I've got left. One moss and two of these bastards. That's it. Alright, so Ming sunk, two USAT 80s remaining. Resume actual mission objective immediately. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to get out of here. Can't help that I've got to go oh, up and around Taiwan. Alright, looks like we're going to have a straight run through to Okinawa, and yes, alright, so this is where we're at now. Achievements to date. Commander Jack Kanov, Tambov B448, Days at War 11, Missions Accomplished 5, 14 warships, 11 submarines, 12 merchants for 37 total ships sunk. 117,720 tons down. You feel this last patrol was limited success. Perhaps the next one will offer better opportunities and make a difference to the war. Uh, how? I saved the Spratleys. I sunk lots of boats, and I've come back in for more ammo. Okay. Alright, so we rearm, and we'll be getting our new orders. Actually, we get our new orders here. Intelligence indicated enemy plans to amphibious landing at... They're reinvading the Spratlys. Alright, looks like we'll go back and do the second combat there. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel in the very near future, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.